Hello all, welcome to the channel. This video is the part of sales module and this is another video regarding the sales process automation. Today I'm going to discuss about how you can automate the whole sales process, especially how we interact with the warehouse management and inventory of a particular item. We are also going to see how automatic availability check work in the SAP Business One in the standard sales process. We will also look at the functionality of pick and pack and production manager and how we can create an automatic delivery out of that from the sales order and we will discuss the advantages of document generation wizard of the sales module and we're going to discuss everything right after this First of all, in the sales process, like the normal sales process, uh, we introduce uh, the two new uh, features inside the sales uh, sales process in order to automate the whole whole sales. And that time when you create a sales order for a particular customer, that time you have to check the check the availability of a particular item if, if that item is deliverable for that customer or not and when you can deliver that item and during that you can check if that item is in your one warehouse or if it's in the different warehouse so for which you have to send that warehouse from one so send that item from one warehouse to another warehouse so uh, what happened is basically after the availability check uh, it's gonna go into picking uh, picking using the pick list then packing it and then generating the delivery document followed by the AI invoice. So that's the whole so, uh, whole process work. So for example, if you go into the SAP Business One and try to create a sales order of a particular item, let's say I'm gonna for the for this customer, let's say for this customer, right? I'm gonna buy the item P triple zero one. Right, and if you go into this item as data and inventory tab, you will see that the available quantity of this particular item is 40. So the thing is, right now you cannot order, you cannot um, create a sales order for more than 40 item because you are not ready to commit more than 40 available item, right? But if you're gonna go and put the 50, right, with the unit price 12, then after entering the delivery date. You can simply create it. Uh, you can simply create the document without any notification, and that that's the basically a gap between the sales order and the inventory that you can fulfill using uh, using enable a checkbox into the document for that particular document in the system and initialization document setting. When you go into the document setting and enable for the sales order, activate automatic availability check, and that time. Let's go ahead and first, uh, we just committed 50 quantity, which we don't have. So we have to cancel the sales order. So I'm gonna cancel this document, right? So this one, we still have the 40 available quantity. So now let's go ahead and create a sales order. And when you try to create the sales order this time for this particular uh, customer with this uh, with the 50 quantity and you press the tab then this new window will pop up which is the standard SAP business one item check availability with the different icon and the first option in this one is like the continue for the action so when you press the continue then this will allow you to accept the information and proceed without changing the sales order in that case the item will be back order and it basically uh, it will let you create the create the sales order with the 50 quantity as we already saw then the second option is change the available quantity and this time if you're gonna select this one then it's gonna change or uh, change the quantity is like <coughs> would be the available quantity in your stock and the available quantity is calculated in the way uh, that it's basically your available quantity would be uh, 
your in stock quantity minus committed quantity and plus ordered quantity would be your available quantity for that particular item but you don't want to order any 50 quantity because you are not accepting uh, you are not expecting any new uh, new uh, delivery from your from your own vendor from where you are purchasing this printer so there is the third uh, quantity to, to like there is third option to display available to promise and in this one if there is any purchase order is uh, is uh, available like for example if you're going to create a purchase order for this particular item uh, let's go ahead and create one right so let's say i'm gonna buy this item from this vendor and i'm gonna buy 10 quantity with the unit price five and go ahead and when you refresh that then you said that the order quantity is 10 and now you have the level quantity 50 so in that case if you're gonna open that then you can see that okay a purchase order is existing and you can use that as a, as an option and to check if there is any any upcoming shipment in your warehouse so you can you can commit that quantity right for that particular user then third one is display quantity in the other warehouse this is the option where all the warehouse will be listed and will, it will show the available quantity so that you can arrange a shipping from another warehouse to this particular warehouse or from this warehouse to uh, to the uh, to the customer directly then this option would be an alternate uh, item which you have to define as an alternate item and in this one check for any alternate if if one is available you can select the quantity from an alternate item if the item is not available and no other option will remain for on time delivery then the basic uh, the basic thing is you can decide to delete that row by simply select that and this row will not be exist in the sales order anymore and that's how you're gonna uh, that's how you that's the different different uh, options available into into the availability check uh, before before creating a sales order so now if you let's say you go ahead and created the item right you created the item uh, you created the sales order for that particular item of 40 quantity with the unit price of 12 and with the delivery date of 12 as well and you added that then the sales order will be here you already have a sales order now when uh, you you uh, your item is belonging to the uh, warehouse 01 so you directly go into the inventory open the pick and pack and go to the pick and pack manager pick and pack production manager and you select the sales order with the open status for all the warehouse because right now this item is only available in zero one so you can also this uh, unselect all the warehouse and you can go for this one and you see you see that our, our sales order is available here and we'll click on the release um, or release to the pick list then you can see that we have the enough quantity to release that uh, release that right so you can add any remark and add the picking uh, add the picking one so once you once you created uh, once you created a pick list then you will see that into uh, into the pick list document that okay you already uh, you already arrange a pick list and that time a warehouse guy gonna uh, gonna take a paper and gonna scan that item manually from the warehouse and prepare that to uh, to 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 prepare uh, prepare to pick that item from the from the warehouse shelf by by himself, and that time uh, that guy will be say okay I pick all and you're gonna update that document, and then you can uh, you can go into the pick one and it's gonna show you that okay the document is already picked and for this document and when, once this document is uh, done then you can create an automatic delivery from here to deliver that that uh, document uh, deliver that item from <clears throat> from that warehouse to the customer itself and once you create it you will see that it's used the same address default address and it's created an automatic delivery for that particular item so that's how you can automate uh, automate the whole process and you can create the do delivery document automatically directly from the pick and pack list so and this one also gonna show like on based of sales order nine that we have just created so now the third one is 
the benefit of document generation wizard but there but like i just show you a small version of pick and pack list i'm gonna talk a lot about this when we will go into the inventory module for sure so uh, right now we're gonna talk about the document generation wizard and the document generation wizard is a tool to run a batch of documents at a one time so you can create the multiple documents using the single one the wizard follow a simple process used for gathering rows from base document to the target document and based on the several user defined parameter you can uh, you can basically create the target document right and you can give uh, if you are running the uh, this one for the first time then the wizard uh, uh, the, the example of the parameter you will see here, for example, I'm going to create in the LT01, LT01, and you're going to see that there are a lot of parameter that which document you want to create as a target document, when should be the posting documents, posting dates, and uh, which kind of uh, category you want as a summary, and you can uh, go to next, and you can again select the, select the dates on the delivery and uh, of the, uh, the 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 document type from which you want and once you go next it will use the system default or they have the different parameter that you can choose i'm gonna use basic one i'm gonna pick the customer right i'm gonna using the same customer that we have created a delivery for you're gonna go again next and this is just for the uh, iteration of each document like how it's going to handle and uh, basically this wizard can be used for example to produce a summarized AR invoice for a customer so containing all the delivery notes that were created for the customer over the past week it is simply at the efficient method for summarizing the data to reduce the data input all deliveries for an individual customer can be consolidated into one invoice or a set of create separate invoice based on the item and based on the customer itself right so when you when you hit one you can save it or you can simply execute it depend on you you can simply execute that and it will give you a message that AR invoice is created and when you open an AR invoice and check the last document then you will see that it is based on the delivery the delivery document that we just created by the pick and pack pick and production manager right so you that's how the that's how your accounting team can generate the invoice and can send directly to the customer to receive the incoming payment from them so uh that's all i guess for today and uh, we we just learned like how we can involve the pick and pack uh, pick and production manager uh, and to create the automation of delivery and invoices and how we can automate the whole sales process together and uh, uh, thank you for that. If you have any question, you can comment down and ask it, and I will, I uh, will try, I uh, will try to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you so much.